Now imagine a line where you set up an opening trap which is going to occur in the middle game and it is such a powerful that you sacrifice your two bishops and the position get a completely checkmate. Sounds very interesting, right? Welcome guys, as in this video, you are going to witness world's one of the longest and deadliest chess trap which especially in online chess occurs frequently. After d4, knight to f6, c4, we have the move e5 known as Budapest defense. And when white take this pawn, the majority of the games continue with knight to g4, which goes into the Budapest Gambit territory. However, there is another killer alternative here, namely knight to e4, and this is known as Fajarovic's Gambit, which is currently my secret weapon for the online chess. Here, white can fall into the trap via two ways, so they can choose either the move a3 or knight to f3. Let's say in this game, white plays knight to f3 first. And after this, I recommend this very sneaky move, d6, putting the pressure on the e5 pawn. And somewhere down the line, we want to grab it by developing our pieces. Okay, if you look at the database here, by far the most popular choice is e captures d6, whereupon black regain the pawn with bishop captures d6. And yup, at this point, white is a pawn up, but black is steaming ahead in terms of peace development. And again, white can choose either of the moves such as e3 or knight b to d2, doesn't matter both of them leads to the same trappy territory. For example, e3. So white is planning to castle on the king side. And on the counterpart, after knight to c6, black shows his intention as he really want to castle on the queen side. So we have some natural moves. Bishop to e2. Bishop to f5 castle on the king's side, and now queen to e7, get ready to castle. After knight b to d2, as white wants to get rid of the centralized knight, we can castle on the queen side, and there is a small trap within the trap here is, if your opponent continue with knight captures e4, then this is the last time he is going to play it, as after bishop takes h2, white, to his horror, find out that he has lost his queen. So nope, that's not the point. As soon as the rook comes on the d-file, it is very obvious that majority of the games continue with queen to a4, getting out of the attack and putting the pressure on that 7 pawn whereupon we can start delivering the kingside attack with this nice move g5. Okay, so black is threatening the move g4 and accordingly the most frequent choice from the white side is to first take this knight and after bishop takes, there is no point of playing h3 as h5 and g4 is on the card. So white should start attack on the black king with either the move a3 or b4 and in both the case, let's say a3, we can play g4 and if the knight moves, which happen in almost all the games, then congratulations to the white as he has fallen into world's most deadliest and longest trap. So before I move on guys, i like you to pause this video and find out a killer sequence here which finish up the wide from this position.
Are you ready? I think I already given you the hint, right? And congratulations if you find the first move. Yup, absolutely right. Bishop takes h2. Bam! The point is, after king takes, you give this check. And when white plays the move king to g1, he get another root shock. Yup, you got it. Bishop captures g2. Another dazzling bishop sacrifice. So that white cannot deny it as we are threatening the move queen h1 checkmate. So white has to take it. And after this, the sequence is very easy. You give this check, king to g1, and yet another forcing checkmate move, g3, whereupon white has tried two moves, but neither of them are working. First, the easiest move is if he continue with f captures g3, then after queen captures g3, king to h1, and now the star move, rook to g8, finish the job as black is threatening multiple checkmate and unfortunately white cannot defend all of them. Okay, then what about the second option, knight to f3 here? Well, more or less same story, we play rook to g8, threatening g captures f2, and after something like rook to d1, trying to give some space to the white king doesn't work here, as after the forcing sequence, black indeed achieved the checkmate. You wanna try it? Go ahead, buddy. I'm showing you right now. Pawn takes f2 check, king takes, Rook to g2 check, king to e1, and now very simple, queen g3, king f1, and queen f2, a picturesque checkmate at just 22nd move of the game. That's it guys, I hope you enjoy and learn world's most longest and deadliest trap and I must say, this two bishop sacrifice line gives you a lot of chills and great victories as I have get 20 plus victims in my online chess, including two title players. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment and I will meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.